the thing is that um, I had to cut my hair again because um, okay I promise you people that I'm going to share this story but now the question is coming uh, from Danny I can't help people answer this question right now like right now okay what happened was that when I lost my husband I told people that there were so many traditions I didn't do Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra. My name is Nani. My name is Sammy. <laughs> we are Nigerian YouTubers based in Oka Anambra State. If, I hope you guys enjoyed that clip I put before this video. So now the thing is that um, I welcome you back to this uh, sit down video. I was supposed to do a story time but then something happened a few days back. My children were just bombarding me with questions, questions, questions. And I was just like, no. I need to bring this to this channel so that they are going to be asking me all those questions they asked me and myself I'm also going to be asking them questions so you guys just ignore my voice something happened and then I shouted so anytime I shout my voice goes like this so you just have to ignore my voice and manage it with me here I have Danny and Sammy like they said earlier they are my children if you are just seeing us for the first time you are welcome to this channel um, this channel is all about my reality my story life um everything that you need to know about myself and my kids you just get it on this channel so um if you're new to this channel you have not missed so much you just have a few videos down there that you may need to watch after watching this one of course so without wasting so much of you guys and let me quickly dive into the video hmm. there are so many questions as you can see i've written down my own questions them too they have just i only helped uh sammy to write because um, he has this problem with writing fast, so I'll just like tell me what you want to ask me. All those things that you were asking me that day, let me put it down for you. So he's going to be reading out his own, and Sam is also going to. Dan is also going to be reading out his own, and then they ask me the questions, and I'll answer. Now, who is going to ask first? Me. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Two of you asking at the same time. Me. Me first. You see. Okay, Daniel will ask first. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. No, I think I have to ask both of you first. And then, after answering, you now ask me. Let's do it that way. Yes. You collect on picture, so you collect on my money. I'll not collect your money. Before you go, I'll not Mommy said. I'll not collect your money, don't worry. Okay, let me ask first. Hmm. I'll ask Danny one, and Sammy one. I have three, three questions for three of, for both of you. Hmm, it's all right. Okay. Sammy, are you ready to take your first question? Yes. Okay. What is my favorite food? My favorite food is apple. <laughs> <laughs> you may take home. I get it, ma. <laughs> you get it. You got it. Sammy, you did not even think it. You did not even think about it. Just your favorite food is apple. <laughs> Anyways, my favorite food is apple and any soup can go. Yes. <laughs> any soup that does not have isam can go. I don't like isam. I don't eat it. Hmm. You got his first question. Okay. Danny, are you ready now? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, let me take this first one. Which year did we come back to the village? 2015. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> he making nothing. He don't know he's fighting off. It's because I answered it that day. It's because he asked me and I answered it that day. Are you sure you would not spy this my book? Eh? Daniel and Samuel. No, I don't spy your book. Oh. Did you look inside my book? No. No. I don't want to look inside your book. Let my book, I want to look. Okay. Sammy, are you ready for your next question now? Yes. Okay. 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 What did the Bible say in Matthew 22, verse 39? Matthew 22, verse 39, that we say. Just remember, ask yourself. <laughs> He got it! <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay. Hmm. Daniel, don't fail. <laughs> Someone has asked me two questions. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Daniel, what is the name of your school at Lagos? You know, Sammy did not have not started school yes. before we came back. Okay, it was only you that was going to school. What is the name of your school at Lagos? <laughs> Melanie, not from primary school. What? Melanie, not from primary school. Mm -hmm, you got it. <laughs> the name of the school is Melanie, not from primary school. That was the last school he attended. Okay, why is he saying school. gang gang gang? Because he got it now. <laughs> okay, okay. Sammy, are you ready for your next question? Yes. This one is your last question. Yes. The way you did his eyes, it's all right. Okay. How old is Grandpa Omeka now? How, many, how old? Mm, 74. <laughs> it's because I used to say it. Yes! It's because I used to say it. It's because I used to say it. Stop looking inside my head. No. Give it here. Okay. Okay, Danny. Huh? Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. What did the Bible say in Philippians 3, verse 2? <laughs> China. Set your mind on things that are above, not things that are on earth. Hey! hey. <laughs> you got it. That means both of you got your questions. Mm -hmm. It's all right. So now for me to one. take my own questions. Take. <laughs> mm. Who is going to ask me first? Me. Where's that answer? Let ask me. The answer to all the questions. I did not write answer later. I will say that. Let, let, let me ask me. Wait, wait. Let Daniel ask me. Yeah. Okay, let, let someone start. You call on the area now. Why do you say that you are a Christian? Why do you say that you are a Christian? Why do you go to me every time? <laughs> NJ, you have heard it now. They're asking me why I go to Nail every time. It's because I go to see NJ now. I go to Nail to see NJ. Nail, is it not your house? Nail is no longer my house. I'm no longer living in Nail now. Mm, but it's your house before. I was staying in Nail before I now came back to meet mommy now. And then came back to work out. And all of us now came to work out. Okay, but you dash him in Nail. <laughs> Who oh, did I dash in Nail? NJ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and NJ is from Nail. Her house, her father's house is in Nehru. She's from Nehru. So I cannot even dash her name. Mm -hmm. okay. So, the only reason why I go to Nehru, I know this is this this word is, has been on your head, Mwah, because you don't like me going, going out. The only reason why I go to Nehru is because I go to see Auntie Yes, but you don't... Have you changed one day to go there? Is it? Have you changed one day to go there or sleep one day? Only <laughs> two days now. Okay, if I, why I don't take you people? Only <laughs> two days. Where's your own car? I know. The thing I is that when... Auntie Angel said yeah. uh, that you people will come for one weekend. Yeah. Uh, you will come for one weekend so that you can know, question our girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Danny, ask me one. No! No, your second one will come after Danny's school. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't ask me. Don't ask me difficult question. Mm -hmm. You know you wrote your own. I did not help you to write your own. I helped Sammy to write. This yes. time you wrote it by yourself. Don't worry. Why did you cut your hair again? <laughs> hey! She's long! My thing now, please. Alright. Okay. Okay. Fine. The thing is that um i had to cut my hair again because um okay i promise you people that i'm going to share this story but now the question is coming uh, from danny i can't help people answer this question right now like right now okay what happened was that when i lost my husband i told people that there were so many traditions i didn't do because my mother-in-law was there and she was like she was defending me. I've not gotten to the age of this, that, stuff like that. So, what happened was that um, I did cut my hair. Yeah, I didn't cut my hair. So, and um, I remember she told me before she died. I mean, my mother-in-law that anytime I feel like mourning my husband 
for the last year, for the last time. You know, anytime I feel like mourning my husband, I should just um, put put down my hair. I should just cut down my hair. So um, December last year, something happened. I went to visit my mother-in-law's grave, and then changed the flower in her grave, and also down daddy's grave. And then I decided to, you know. Um, cut my hair. I got bad. Nobody knew that I, I planned cutting my hair and I didn't tell anybody where I went to. I didn't tell anybody that I was going to visit my husband's village. This has been a secret I've been keeping to myself for quite some time now. As a matter of fact, the only person that knows about it is my mom. The only person that knows about what I'm saying now is my mom. Yes, yeah, so she was the only one that is aware of what I did and then I got back went to the that day I was inside the market, a cocker market, I was actually buying something. Then we have not even relocated to work as I was actually buying things and then I just stopped by um, one salon like that and just cut my hair. So are you satisfied? Yes. It is because I'm mourning daddy, you know, I I decided to mourn him and that. So that's why I had to shave off my hair and I'm going to keep it like this for one year. Just one year. Just one year. Okay. So, is that okay? My turn. Okay. Uh, okay. You buy, you buy your hair back? Yes. You back. Why are you wearing the wavon? Hey! <laughs> you know, when I want to go to some kind of places. I wear wavon. You know I'm not in wavon. No, no. Be because what? You know I don't like, I don't wear wavon. Uh, but when I, there are some kind of videos or some kind of places I want to go. It's because water is raining. No, it's not because it's raining, my love. There are some kind of places I would like to go. I will just like, you know, uh, cover my hair. We are weak. Okay. So I am alone. This place is dark. Let me add light to this yes, video. Yes, this place is much light yeah. now. Okay, there's much light now. Let me reduce it a little bit. Yes, it's better now. So, there are some places I would like to, I'll, I'll, I feel like going like this, and I'll just like cover my hair, wear wig. And there are some kind of places like anytime if I'm filming video, if I'm at home, I don't wear wig now. I don't wear wig. Oh, yes, I mean, your last question. What? I will not look. I will not every time be covering Why? Something that. You, the question that you gave me, you are the one that gave me the question, and I wrote it down myself. So. Why? Why do you cry like a baby? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the answer. Why do you cry like a baby? I don't cry now. I only cry when I'm emotional. Eh? I only cry when I'm emotional. Is it your answer? Yes, that is my answer. Okay, Mbo. Okay, Mbo. Okay, <laughs> okay, Danny, your last question. <laughs> Only God knows what you are going to ask. Sit down. Oh, I want to sit down. Why? You want to eat? sit down now. Okay. Hmm. Why do you say that God is your husband? Why do I say that God is my husband? We uh -huh. meet him. <laughs> Did you people do meeting on my head? <laughs> See this truth, Renu. Daniel, it's because uh, when you don't have husband, it's God that is only God that can be your husband. Uh, nah. God cannot marry you. Then God cannot marry you. If they created one on mommy, if they don't create the, the other the other boys. Yes. Um God will be your husband, nah? Yeah, exactly, my darling. God is my husband. Don't mind Daniel. God is my husband. God can marry. God, the Bible says that God is the husband to the widow. Even it's, it's Bible. The, the other one is Bible. not here. Wait. Even, even, by, even in the Bible, mm -hmm. it's there in the Bible that God is the husband of the widow. So God is my husband. Don't come and be putting me on high jump. It is not my high jump. I have to I got other, it. Mm hmm. My favorite TV channel. And I do quite African magic a big. Mm-hmm. Fetch uh Dove TV. Mm-hmm. Emmanuel TV. But you used to Z World. BB Niger is just once in a while. I will chase you people away and watch it only me. Uh-huh. 
You say? You agree? agree? Yes. Uh -huh. I watch African Magic AP. Yes. African Magic Ebo. Yes. Sea World. Um, you know, Discovery TV. These are just my favorite. But the most favorite of all, the one I like most, is African Magic Epic. That is it. So I got it. So, you guys, I want to say something. Hmm. I forgot to say something. The thing is that, regarding this uh, question that Danny asked me, yes, there are other traditions that a woman, um, you know, does when her husband dies. It's like maybe um, there are other, many other traditions that you have to do when your husband dies. There are some that you do. Like from my mother-in-law's, uh, from my husband's side, there are, there are traditions that you do when your mother-in-law dies. Like me, I did that one too. They will have to go and take you to plantain tree. And especially when you're close to, the, to your mother-in-law, they will take you to plantain tree. Like me, I'm very close to my mother-in-law. Uh, I don't know if you people have watched the video of how close I am with my mother-in-law. The link is in the description box. And then, if you go through my videos, you're going to see it. The title is My Amazing Mother-in-Law and How I Lost Her. If you go, as in, when she died, they, there was this uh, ritual that I performed four days after she died. Four days. They took me to where there is plantain tree. Then you go naked. And then you hug that plantain tree three times with your front like this. Then you go back again and you hug it with your back again three times. And after hugging the plantain tree, they will now do one or two other things. And then they give you one of her clothes. One of her. I said her most favorite, her favorite clothes. They will give you her favorite clothes and give you her last clothes. The last clothes that she bought, if they are able to detect it. They give you her last clothes. Then her mortar, they will give you her mortar. They will give you her mortar. Like, the mortar she used to pound, they give it to you. Like, as I speak to you people now, I have my mother-in-law's mortar. Her smallest mortar, I have it. It will be the biggest one goes to Ada, that's her first daughter. And then the smallest one will come to her favorite um, daughter-in-law. And I have the, that smallest one now. And then Ada, that's our first, uh, my sister-in-law, the first daughter, has the, the big one. So. I just say I forgot to talk about that. I said let me add it. So if you're looking at me that I cut my hair maybe out of fashion because I want to look um, fine or beautiful and all that. I'm not a fashion freak. I can go to anywhere with any cloth and anyhow. That is me. But then if you're thinking that maybe because this question has been coming up and up and up and up and up. If you're seeing it that I cut my hair maybe because of um, maybe because of fashion or any other thing. It's not true. You're getting it all wrong. This is just the reason why I had to cut down my hair, like cut it down, and I'll keep carrying it like this until further notice. And I didn't just cut it. I didn't just cut it. I cut it, and I did um, that particular um, tradition that I didn't do. It was this particular one that I didn't do when my husband died. I did it. So that is just the reason why I cut my hair. So we have come to the end of the video, and if you enjoyed watching this video, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and please so subscribe to our channel. channel. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Bye.